going on YouTube? What's up guys? Back at it again today, work on the Dakota project and we're gonna be focusing on this and the F-150 probably for the, the next couple episodes at least. Uh, the Silverado is gonna be kind of on the back burner. I wanna get this done. There's not a lot I'm gonna to do to this right now, so I wanna get everything on this done. Then I just got one less project to do, right? So, to start off with, what we're doing today is we're gonna get the front suspension kind of cleaned up a little bit. It's a bit of a mess and it's kind of rusted stuff, you know, it's got some surface rust. We're gonna clean all that up. We're gonna put some uh, fresh paint on it. Hopefully it'll protect it from rusting more. It's supposed to. And we're gonna go from there, right? We're not gonna touch the frame yet. I have plans for doing the frame, uh, but that'll be including pulling the bed off to get in there real good. Cause the back part's got some rust all over it. Just surface rust though, no big deal. But let's get into the video, okay? Rule the intro. So, I've already got the truck up on the quick jacks, got the wheel pulled off. I think we'll probably throw some paint on the sway bar. Uh, we're gonna hit the upper and lower control arms. We're not gonna touch the springs. I actually wanna pull the springs out and re-powder coat them. Uh, I think we'll pull the brakes off, we'll do the hub. We're gonna get this brake line right here. We're gonna clean it up. So we're just gonna, this right here, it's got some rust on it, but I'm not gonna touch it yet. That's gonna, that'll get done when I do the frame. So we're gonna hit these lower control, the lower control arm right here on both sides. Uh, so let's get started by pulling the caliper and the rotor off. So, got some plastic mat down, got a wire brush here. I picked up some smaller ones and I got them, but I can't find them. So this is all I've got to work with. No big deal. I'm just gonna try, I'm gonna try and knock off as much uh, loose surface rust I can. I'll spray everything down with some brake clean and uh, then we will start painting. Obviously, this will be a lot easier if I remove the caliper. Uh, I could, I really don't want to re bleed, the, bleed the brakes again. I could, but we're gonna try and do it without. So the paint I'm using is this uh, Dupla Color Rust Barrier Rust Preventative Coating. It's actually a really nice black, uh, matte black, satin black. And um, it, I've used it on some other stuff already. It looks really good. It's, uh, it goes on kind of thick, and it, I'm gonna tell you what, it actually looks, it looks really good, and I think it works pretty well as well. So, it's not too expensive. I wanna say I got this from O'Reilly's for like 40 bucks. Can't really beat that. So that's what we're gonna use. Let's get started painting.
All right, guys. So we've got two coats on it. It's drying now. We're gonna let it dry. It was pretty good though. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna touch up some. I'm gonna do some painting on this uh, brake line right here after I get the brake caliper back on, get the rotor back on, and everything. But man. Like I told you guys, this stuff is awesome. Don't 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 look at the frame. Didn't do the frame, but we're going to do the frame later. The stuff, like I said, it goes on kind of thick and it looks really good. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna let it dry. I'll put it back together and then we'll catch. I'll catch it back up with you guys. Blah. I'll catch back up with you guys after I let this dry and put it back together and we'll see what you think. All right. All right guys, we're back. It's been a couple, day, couple days, it's all dried. I just put it all back together, put the brakes back on and it looks, it looks pretty good. Ignore the frame, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna paint it uh, something different, but let's take a look. It's so like I said, ignore that. This is the frame's all gonna get painted, but she came out looking pretty good. It's like a a matte matte black. It's pretty smooth. It goes on kind of thick, so it fills everything in for the most part. Came out looking pretty good. I'm happy with it. All right, so. I hope you guys liked the video. It's quick, pretty simple. It actually wasn't quick. I bet I spent, I probably spent three, four hours prepping it and then putting the, the two coats on it, but it's worth it because now I don't have to worry about it. It's peace of mind. And I may pull all this apart later on and, and uh, powder coat it. Um, we'll see. I will say that uh, I just had it aligned. My buddy, uh, Dean, he, uh, he did the alignment for me and these Dakotas are, are kind of a nightmare to align. Um, so I didn't want to take it all apart and have it powder coated just so he can do another, another alignment. Maybe this winter that'll be a project, but for now it all looks good. I'm happy with the results. And uh, we're gonna pull the bed off here in the next month or so. And we're gonna work on the frame, clean it all up. Um, but appreciate you guys watching. And see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Bye.